a new video in today's video we're going to be doing a gel polish set and i have got the bumble gonks these are decals water decals from nail sugar um i've also grabbed these stickers out i've used these before but i feel like those little butterflies would go they're not butterflies the little bees would go really well with the bumble gonks so i'm going to use those as well uh from nail sugar also i've got deep space which is a black fine holographic glitter and then I've got some Madame Glam gel polishes. I'm going to be using Perfect White, Perfect Black and Mimosa. And then I'm also going to be using Madame Glam's black gel paint. You're also going to need a stamper and a detailer brush. I didn't show this part, but you're going to need those as well. Actually, you don't need a stamper, but I'm going to stamp my decal on to nail with the stamper. So just saying uh right so we are going to do two coats of no we're going to do two nails in mimosa <clears throat> excuse me and three nails in perfect white so once i've done all three of these white other nails they i'm going to stick them into the lamp for 30 seconds because madam glam gel polishes need a 30 second cure and then we will move on to our next coat the this set actually is it's pretty much a recreation um karen the lady that owns now sugar and also my best bishy um she done a, a mini set with three nails and i absolutely love them and she hadn't done a video of them so i said to her would you mind if i sort of like recreated them and she was like no so this is where this set comes from i'll put hers up here somewhere for you to have a look at oh they're just lovely aren't they oh so i was like i really really want to try them okay so uh we've done our two coats of color now i've got some perfect black on my palette this is the gel polish not the gel paint and we're going to use a detailer brush you can use um an uh, like a, just an, an art art brush uh which is like a it's like a detailer brush but the bristles are thicker and you will get the lines painted on a lot quicker because you've got more does that make sense but yeah, i'm just using my detail brush because i love my detail brush so with this you can make the lines as thick or as thin as you like but personally i think thicker lines or wider lines look more pleasing they look more bumblebee-ish in my opinion but what do i say horses for courses if you prefer thinner lines you go ahead and do thinner lines i managed to just about get three black lines on this nail and what i'm going to do is we are going to eventually cover the right what you could do is do the yellow then top coat then apply the black and then sprinkle the black glitter onto the uncured gel polish but I wanted to do it this way. So I've done my gel polish design. And then I'm going to top coat the whole nail using... The, I decided actually, normally I would have gone with velvet matte top coat. But with this nail, I thought, you know what? We're going to go shiny. So between the glitter, I'm going to have... The, the yellow is going to be shiny. So this is Madame Glam's no wipe top coat. Again, a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. And then what you're going to have to do is, yeah, I'm going to do the same on that one, by the way. So we're going to have two nails of like the bumblebee. And then I've got some, I'm just filling the black in again with no wipe top coat. Now, the first nail I done, I put the top coat all the way up to the edge of the black. And then don't cure it. Sprinkle it with your glitter into that uncured top coat. Tap off any excess, make sure it's covered fully. Tap off any excess, pop it in the lamp. I usually give it a double cure if I'm sugaring and then brush off any excess. Now, I felt like the edges of this, you can go over with a hard brush because it's sugared. You shouldn't lose any of the glitter. Um, I felt like the edges looked a little bit messy here. So when I went in and done this one, I didn't go all the way up i didn't go quite all the way up to the edge of the black line so that when i put my glitter on I just, i'm gonna have a nice smooth edge still you'll see what i mean I'm i'll show you them both together you'll see what i mean doing it this way made the lines look a lot neater so sprinkle it in pop it into the lamp um 
yeah brush off any excess but can you see that second line just looks a lot neater than the first one because the, there's no glitter poking out do you see what i mean so i'm going to do that on all of the other lines and the other nail can you see they're all nice and neat now i preferred that i mean it's probably me just being overly fussy but you know each to their own uh, right now we're going to pick out one of the bumble gonks there are some different designs different looking gonks so it took me a little while to decide which one i wanted <laughs> But I'm going to cut it out and then I like to cut out as much of the excess back, the excess edging as I can. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Then I'm going to place it onto my stamper. You're going to need a little bit of water. I'm just going to pop using my, my clean, this is my, my old tatty cleanup brush. I'm just dabbing the back of the decal. Put the decal on upside down on the stamper. Just dab in the backing with some water. And then what it's going to do is it's going to soak up that water. This just you just do it this way instead of putting the decal in the water. This is especially good if you've got a really, really tiny design that you want to put on a nail. So slide off the backing. Um, I think it was still too wet when I went to stamp it on because it didn't come off the first time. Sometimes if there's if there's still water on your stamper, it won't stamp the first time. Um, so you just make sure you get off any excess water and then we've just stamped our design onto our nail and it's yeah ta -da! Right now for this one. I am going to velvet matte top coat it. So this one I want matte finished There we go Um. also nail sugar have Like loads of different gonks by the way. There's there's, there's like winter gonks um pastel gonks ladybird gonks actually i've got to use a ladybird gonks at some point there's the bumble gonk there's loads of different gonks so they're really cute so go and have a look because there's some really good ones for like this time of year uh, right now we're going to use the black gel paint and this doesn't have a tacky layer it will leave it when you cure it it is going to look shiny but i'll show i quite like that it leaves a shiny um i'll show you when i've done it so around the outside of her nail she has like this is sort of like it's like i don't know that it's supposed to be stitching but you know on the stickers that i showed you the little bees have got a little trail behind them well it kind of is a it reminds me of like a mixture of stitching which actually i kind of like because i i like i do like borders on nails i think they look quite nice but this, when I get all the way around to the bottom, I'm going to curve it around and curve it up to the gonk's bottom. So here, I'm going to start curling it around so that it looks like the, the gonk has got a little trail. It's not a flying gonk, but there we go. That's what Karen done. And I just thought that looked so cute. I just loved it. So that's going to go the gel paints need 60 seconds in an led lamp and can you see that it's still shiny but it's on a matte finish it's on a matte surface but it's i just, i like that it looks shiny the the little stitchy bits look shiny right this now i was just going to put some random i wanted it to look symmetrical at first so i did grab another one of those one of those and i kind of put it the opposite side i wanted it kind of like a symmetrical design and then as i was doing it i I thought, right, I'll put one bee in the middle and then I'll put two flying bees at the bottom again. But it didn't look quite right. So I took one of the bees off and look, I just threw some other bees on and I made it more random. And I, I think I actually preferred that. And then this one, I am going to velvet matte top coat again. I quite like the... Any, any nails that have a design on like like or stickers or something I always I seem to prefer them velvet matte finished and then the, the one of the stickers at the bottom it, it did it was sticking out of the edge ever so slightly um, so I am just gonna file that to smooth it out and then the last nail I'm just gonna keep it really simple I'm gonna velvet matte top coat it and we're gonna just stick some crystals on but it's gonna be the easiest crystal placement you've ever done ever so um these are preciosa citrine crystals they are from crystal parade and these ones are jet preciosa crystals round flat backs non hot fix and you can get five percent off using my code nat5 from crystal parade this is now Camille's crystal totalist gem glue i'm just gonna put oh and i'm using my crystal katana from crystal parade i'm just gonna put a little bit of that down the middle of the nail sort of about a third of the way down maybe that's half i don't know 
maybe it's between a third and a half i don't know but whatever then i'm gonna do a citrine a jet a citrine and a jet and that is literally all i'm gonna do simple i don't want to overcomplicate anything pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then that's them finished i'm gonna pop them on my little sticky stick thing and show you a close-up Ta-da! i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing i will leave karen's youtube channel down below and her i don't know if she's got instagram if she has i'll leave it down below um so you can go and find her as well because she's got some lovely videos but thanks for watching god bless and i will see you all in the next one